Hello YouTube, this is my 20 year old ICOM W32A handheld dual band transceiver ham radio. What all that means is this is a 2 meter and UHF, which they call it 70, 70 centimeter, 440 megahertz. Okay. This has expanded receive frequencies. There's a little trick to it, and I cannot find it. It's wrote down if I can find the manual, okay? This is what this will receive, okay? It'll transmit on 2 meter, which is 144, and it'll transmit at 440, which is 70 centimeter. I might have miswrote that. I might disregard that, how that's scribbled. But you can see why I bought my... Uh, disc on antenna it goes from like 26 megahertz I can put it on the CB or it goes clear up to over a thousand megahertz Okay, we don't want to broadcast any police frequencies Okay, the weather channel now this has steps on the squelch that goes from you can either open the squelch or go One to whatever number let's say one to six. Okay. I have a set on the lowest squelch There is one there called AT whatever. I'm not even gonna explain that uh, it's a different type of squelch. But I leave it on like one. So if this comes in, okay, I live just south of Sioux City. This is Omaha, Nebraska weather, okay? Now last night I got yanked in South Dakota. So if you get on a map and look, I got yanked in South Dakota. The tower's near Gavin's Point Dam. That's a long ways up north of me. So the disc is doing what I want to do as far as the scanner antenna. Okay. But dual band is actually dual receive too. See over here I'm scanning this. That's a police frequency. Ham frequency is like 144 to 146 is what I use. It does go like 148. But I have all kinds of repeater towers in there for 2 meters. And then local police frequencies. And some out there in the distance. See once in a while you can actually see it pop up like a 1-4. Don't want to get too technical here. Okay. This thing's fun to play with. Boy, did it take me a lot. I can't find a manual. Okay, say you're over here and you want to scan these frequencies, right? You want to tune it manually? Okay, I can do it uh, this way. Like, say that's 400 and it just go little steps like this. Okay, or I can go, bear with me now. I've almost made a mistake. See that? I go one megahertz at a time, 165, or it's not going to want to do it now. Or one more time, I can scan 10 at a time. See, it's not wanting to do it. I don't want to get nervous on camera. There. See, it'll go 10 at a time. See that? If you're not used to what frequencies are, uh, then you might get confused. And say you're done doing that, you just come back here. I bet that was as clear as mud. Anyway, if you understand frequencies, megahertz, kilohertz, you know what I mean. You can change how big you want this. Cause you set it all day doing it like this. Or scanning. You know, say I hit scan, okay. This takes a long time. Or you go up or down, see where it's on the nine. We'll wait here a second. This might be a long video. Oh well, might be interested. We'll let it go. See, watch, I can turn it and go back down. So you got an option of, and this is your volume, this is your tuning and your volume. Uh, I got an adapter from BNC to your CB coax, PL259, which that's SO239 on the back of the radio. This is PL259. So I know I don't want to act like a big shot and sell them big numbers, but um, when you do this stuff, you have to learn that stuff. You got to give it the correct name. This has very good sounding speaker in it. Uh, it's been dropped a couple times. Nothing major. It's had a few little boo boos accidents, but. I've always kept it clean. I'm going to take some polish and polish it. So I'm going to have a video just on that. Polishing this display. Let's turn the light off. See how scummy that is? 
Look at that. We'll have a video on that. And this came with a battery pack, which is about this much longer. Made this heavy like a brick. It felt like a brick. I mean, people make fun of the old cell phone. This was like carrying a brick on your belt. It'd pull your pants down. I mean, it was that. It was just ridiculous. Uh, this just four AA battery pack, which comes off. You get like four watts. With the other battery, you only got like five watts. And I almost burned it up because there's a jack where you can charge the battery through the top of the radio. Uh, many people had trouble with handhelds of that. They either fried the radio, the battery would go bad. A long time ago, I just threw the battery in the drawer, ended up being thrown in the garbage. I just used AA batteries and not rechargeable. Rechargeables don't have no pulleys. We'll shut off and show you the battery pack. That's kind of tarnished. You can clean this up and use it to shave. Shaving a hoop. What does he look like? I don't like being on camera. See, they're just cheap batteries. That's all I can find. I'm going to get some quality batteries. I mean, more quality batteries. I played with it last night probably two hours. Probably two hours and I went down a bolt. It'll be six bolts. It went down like five bolts. But another trick on these. People would break these buttons clipping this in here. Because they didn't want to hold a button go like that. they go like this. Watch. And I learned not to do that. I learned to... See, then I'll out the button. Don't break that little clip in there. Bear with me. This said this is gonna be a long video and I don't want to edit it. There you go. I'll pause on this for people that are, have got any knowledge at all. I don't you do not you didn't touch any of this unless you know what you're doing. I mean you make a big mistake. I got brave remember the VFO button that it changes how this scans. That's just some dead frequency. See, we'll keep that down, that's please. For the Denison area. At the Denison Airport, it was clear. The temperature was I don't think I'll get in trouble doing it. I'm not gonna monetize this video. This is for educational entertainment purposes. It's the weather channel. That's to say it's full strike. See that? Now let's go to the Omaha one and see if it comes in. First, what we need what I do means ain't transmit, I just hit the transmit button. See that? Okay, that's set on one. Okay, we're gonna show you how the squelch works. Let's go to something that's clear, clean. Okay, watch down here. See there's squelch one, two, three, four, five, seven. I lied to you. Eight. Open. This is called automatic door. This is kind of hard to explain why CB has it. This will distinguish between static and a voice. So you could pick up really weak stations with this by having it set there. But it'll pick up all kinds of garbage. So I set it on one for this weather channel, okay? Now, this weather channel is coming in. I know the band's up. Somewhere in VHF, which is anywhere from 144, I call it, you know, anywhere to 170 something, that uh, comes up. Like down here, 136 almost to 200. See that? That should be VHF. Because these are UHF. Yes, that should be 70 centimeter, not 7 centimeter. Which is 440. Uh, I listened to a, a net on UHF. Guys get together, they have little ham clubs. And these guys were an hour behind me. It was 8 o'clock here, 9 o'clock there. Now, that's very unusual to get UHF skip like that. And I tried going into the computer, putting in the call sign. It did not come up as a valid call sign. Uh, I do not know why. I'm going to have a ham operator. I know search it for me and see if you can find out. Because they had to be in a different time zone. I'm in central time zone. So this thing's getting pretty long, 10 minutes. We'll pause real quick and see if there's anything that I missed. Nope, I couldn't think of anything else. I'll take some pictures. I mean, look at the wear on this. You know, I'll show you the wear. There is a serial number on this down underneath in there. 
uh, every radio I have is marked. Uh, I have my initials hidden somewhere where you will never see it. It could be inside. It could be... So if someone stole this and, and I was trying to identify it, I might have to take some screws or take something apart. Uh, this little trick. Uh, if you have to take a couple things apart on the radio, well, it's worth it if they let you do it to prove it's your radio. And I used to work on CB radios, and I always scratch my initials and stuff in it. So uh, I had a radar detector. And I did that. It had it, my initials in it where you could, could not even see it till you showed somebody with a magnifying glass. I have a microphone for this. I do not know where it is. That is your phone and microphone. It's a dual plug. Okay, we'll take some pictures. Then we're out of here. said I'm not going to monetize this video. Uh, this is just for your entertainment. Commercial free. said I wish I could find a manual for it. There you go. Just thought I'd do this just for a treat for my subscribers to watch. Said so I won't write this down or take a picture of it. But, uh, that's all to receive. And the trick was to receive, if you if you had one of these, is you hold a couple buttons down and turn it on. That's all it was. There's no hacking inside of it. It was a some little treat they gave you, which it's receive. I mean, you're, you're not breaking a law. You can list anything because it excludes, <clears throat> excuse me, cell phones which is like 800 so it's it's legal to hear everything that's on here even with the modification so thanks for watching we'll take a few pictures of this and someday i'll make a video taking these scratches out with some of my polish uh, i might try some barkeeper's friend on a q-tip so thanks for watching if you've stayed here this long for 10 or 12 minutes